For one, I don't think we'd have the kind of wars we have because it's, uh, it's in the absence of the balancing force that women bring on any issue uh, that you have this rush so and so is an enemy wiping out, wipe him out and you know, take the smallest little excuse to, uh, to unleash war. I think we, we see much less of violence. We would see much richer knowledge systems because we, um, at my book, Staying Alive, it, I've written how, you know, just like the World Bank and I have like shrunk, the interest base, our knowledge base has shrunk deeply because of mechanistic science and the scientific revolution, which assumed the world is a machine and nature is dead, everything is fragmented, nothing is related. Um, women being in the picture with their knowledge, and, you know, we organize every year a wonderful course called the Grandmother's University and it brings such richness into the discussion. So we'd have a much deeper and wider knowledge. So one, one would be less violence, the second would be deeper knowledge, and third would be instead of treating vital issues like love and care and compassion as irrelevant and in fact problems, they would become the center of values that guide everyday decisions, political decisions, and you'd see different kinds of economies. You'd see economies of care. Uh, you'd see different kinds of politics, uh, inclusive politics. Uh, you would definitely see much more of a flowering of uh, 